Hey guys, welcome back to Witcher 3. Uh, I found out that the music sometimes uh, takes a little while to start when you enter some of these new areas, so I'm not going to worry about it and I'll just let the music do whatever it does. Uh, we finally beat this guy in a game of Gwent last episode, and I spent a bit of time between episodes um, just pinning down the locations of the Knights for Hire. There's 15 of them, uh, so there's a couple down here, and um, yeah, you can only place 10 pins, which I thought was a little bit strange. So I placed 10 of them, and then there's another 5 like around here somewhere, so I'll have to figure out where they are later on. Um, and then we have the uh, Turn and Face the Strange, which is just here. So I'm going to do a little loop around, check out the Knights for Hire, see what's there. Um, and then see if we can do this quest. Uh, and then after that, maybe uh, head into the main quest. But uh, there is a little question mark down... Uh, we might have a quest down there, so I will actually just head down to this one. Oops. Um, I right-clicked and that disappeared. Yeah, we'll head down head down here. Looks like I'm heading in the right direction. I think I'll need Roach to, uh, to get me there a little bit quicker. Ah, there you are, Roach. I for daughter, you know. She's fifty one. Slow now. Um, trying to find a path over there. Oh, this one turns around. Here we go. Faster. Good day, sir. Okay, we've made it to an abandoned site. Whoa there, Roach. Oh, there's some... Uh, is this a question mark? I could try to clear it out. Um, I will do a quick save. Um, I don't think there's like, things like hard. Um, I will need the uh, the crossbow as well. Let's see what level this is. Oh, this thing is, this thing is uh, pretty tough. It's immune, I think, to fire. Let's try the art then. I can't hit it, it's too fast. Back here. Ooh, I 
Okay. So life has returned to this area after defeating the Slizard. Less mutagen transmuted green to blue. What's going on here? Oh, they got we killed them. I can loot. Letter bearing Castel Revo seal. Let's read that. Uh, dearest cousin, based on what I gathered from your last letter, rumors about Belgard's overtax condition are not exaggerated. In my opinion, there's no point in you waiting for the new owner. The procedures involved in transferring such an important vineyard will last months. And meanwhile, the estate will fall into ruin. You wrote you had to fire all the vineyard's guards who will now protect you from wild animals. You know full well how many of them lurk in the Caraberta woods. They could attack you at any moment. I worry for you. I've already spoken to Master Fabricio and he thinks a skilled steward such as yourself will quickly find work over here. So stop playing the hero and come join me. Looks like he didn't join him. Insectoids. Test yourself with trials of virtues. Come to the Isle of Lac Salavi and test the rightness of your character. Uh, Kikimors, Whites, Bruxay. Okay, anything else to investigate? I don't think so. Okay, it doesn't. Took always armor die. Good F. Death. Okay, I'll take my reward from uh, the workers there. Uh, I think that'll be fine. Let's carry on um, to the yeah the location of the knight's Whoa. knight's quest. Looks like it's just around here. Oh my goodness, what is that? I assume it's magical. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Goodbye. They're level 43 and I'm not doing much damage to them, so I will come back to them later on. I'm not going to spend uh, half an hour trying to kill them if I can do so little damage. So we'll come back to that one. Roach, what are you doing over here? Move it. Um, if that's the case, I might actually leave these knights errants. Uh, knights. Uh, knight quests, I guess you could say for a little while, once I level up a little bit, if they're all going to be around that level, level 43, uh, let's wait. Um, 
some time. Uh, is there a... There's no signpost here. Okay, I'll ride Roach just up to the north. And we will check out the uh, check out the Turner Face the Strange quest. Come on now. Let's just have a quick look and see what this one is about. Search for Moreau's grave at Orlamo's cemetery using your Witcher senses. It was a warm summer evening or perhaps a cool yet sunny morning. The weather and time are of no import. What matters is that day Geralt received um, what matters is that day Geralt received a letter from Yennefer, who informed him about a most unusually unusually who informed him about a most unusual discovery she had recently made. She had found mention of research conducted by Professor Moreau on witch mutations. It seemed this professor's workshop could be found in Tucson. Geralt, realizing the importance of this, this discovery, decided to find this laboratory. The first step would be to find the professor's journal, which according to Yen had been buried with him. Yeah, someone had been doing research into witcher mutations, and uh, we're going to have a look and see if we can find out where he's buried. I don't really want to go around um, digging up people's graves, but uh, there's something in here as well, isn't there? So let's do that. Ah, uh, Neckers. What level are they? Time to end this. Sodden letter, ornate key. Bruce, don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selina at the Beauclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Remember, we deserve a cut of that too, so don't be an idiot. We all know you were her lover, but remember, she was also the leader of our gang. And that's what really counts. We never got our share for knocking over that jeweler, Mathenberg's shop, so burying Selina with all the loot is pure jackassery. Those treasures belong to us all. Let's meet up and split things in an honest fashion. Then you can go drown yourself in the lake or hang yourself from any branch you choose. Selena. Okay. Look at the quarreling at the cemetery. I wonder if that's what they're talking about. Last exploits of Selena's gang. I might check that one out in a minute, because maybe she, she is buried here. First, let's look for Moreau's grave. This looks promising. Patrick Mullins talked himself to death. Collector of Witcher Blades. Only really had one but tried very hard. Princess from a land far across the seas. Nicholas Swade.
Caroline Satire. Marquis de Danish. Wait, wait, I can explain everything. Were they his last words, were they? Um, where is this? Uh, okay, there's a few more here. Pierre, maybe in Alexandria, perhaps. Barely knew each other and their love was deeper for it. Oh, this looks interesting. What is this here? Thomas Moreau, Professor, alas, Cavani, Elder, okay. Inscriptions in Elder Speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Damn, Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Okay, the grave has been robbed already. Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody's small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Okay, any other clues? Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Check the location of Nave Nevde on the map, Yennefer sent you. Is it this one? That's the map that she sent me. Uh, let's have a look. Check the location of Nebda on the map you never sent you. Uh, let's have a look and see if it, uh, it's showing up here. Um, it's not. What what map did she send me? Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Saint Retour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Hurling once lay. Need to explore the location. Okay, the flooded ruins of the Valley of Nine is, is what we're looking for over there. Okay, I will get to that soon. For now, let's um have a look at this Sabrina. Treasure hunt? Ah, Selena's gang. Find the treasure hidden in the cemetery. Okay. Yeah, I thought that that would be hidden here as well. Oh, it's just over there? Right, so let's do that one then. The last exploits of Selena's gang. Selena was the, the head of the gang. The and those running riot. Our dodgy values peace her lover buried her along with the treasure. Wait, there's another quest over here. Oh. Wait, what is this? The Clever Clogs Tavern. Doesn't, doesn't look like a tavern from this map. Be, uh, upstairs. Greetings, Monsieur. You need something? Oh, I have spoken to him before. See ya. 
Um, there is a quest here though. Upstairs. Can I get upstairs? Yeah, drinks. Whose notion food. of order is this? Why doesn't someone do something? What's this about? Ah, the notice. Is that it? Are you a witcher, master? Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, no one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. I took the matter up with the ducal guard. They claim they found nothing, but I'm not sure they even bothered to look. What's left for me to do? Should I sniff about the cemetery myself? The noises, they pretty regular? Each night, I live next door. I hear it loud and clear, as if through a horn someone had stuck in my ear. Hawk! Ooh! Fick! And then, whack! Thud! As if a mother bear slammed pate first into a cupboard. Know exactly what you mean. Huh? Okay, let's see if we can Fine. help. Fine, I'll tend to it. Any victims? Someone go missing recently? Or are we just talking noises? No one's come to harm, thank the gods. Why? Do you think it might be a monster? Could be, but doesn't need to though. Might also be grave robbers, tramps. Remains to be seen. I can't rightly say what would be worse. Whatever the case, Godspeed, Master. Till death do you part. Is it truly necessary? Okay, I wonder if this is connected with the Sabrina. Uh, mystery could be the same same thing It's the same cemetery Anyway, let's gonna have a look When she's Adira Looks like it's this area here that's been fenced off Life in Beauclair can be quite dear Death though, that's always free I hear anything, but might want to look around anyway. Just people crying. Ordinary cemetery noises. Can't see anything strange here at the moment. He's heard anything? Nah. No. Wait, there is something here. Ah, uh, some rocks. What is that? Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Be some kind of a spectre. It's not Sabrina's grave, is it? Empty wine bottles, leftovers. Big to do. Not likely. Oh. 
No point complaining. Oh, Oops, sorry. He lost Milton to Perak Peran. Okay, it's quite a large area to explore. Oh, there's something right here. Is this where I entered? Smashed padlock. Someone broke in. Lots of tracks. Not much I can glean from them, though. Gotta come back after dark. Okay. Right. We'll have to come back after dark. Um, let's see if I can find the Sabrina. On the treasure hidden in the cemetery. Maybe I should do this at night as well. I can at least find would have thought, where she's buried. Trading in wine while some witcher guards the common folk. Tracks. Okay. Getting around here. Trampled grass and <laughs> bloomers. Not the kind of moaning he meant, though. Oh, I see. That's from the last quest. Right. Can I, do I need to read these? I can't read them. Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. Which guards the core. <laughs> okay, I can't see anything relating to Selena's gang. I might sort out the other quest first. Because maybe this, the clues are getting confused here. Yeah, so I'll come back at night. I'll sort that one out and then um, search for search for the treasure. Um, but while I'm waiting, let's go back to turn and face the strange. Um, search for the entrance to the professor's laboratory in the flooded ruins of the Valley of Nine. Let's go and do that, and then I can come back to the cemetery and after that. Wait, how far is this away? I thought it was fairly close. Um, you know, let's just do some fast travel down here. Fast travel half the way there. Another cemetery out here. Okay, Roach. Hey, yeah. Come on. There would probably be creatures here if I came here at night time. Actually, I was here before. Because I remember this house, which I didn't explore. Hello, buddy. The book of lust is hard and girthy. Slower. No one can grip the damn thing. <laughs> Come on. It's a song from the Book of Love, the Book of Lust. Get across this river. Yes. OK. 
Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna be diving into the water. Oh, neckers. Take it easy. Oh gosh, I thought I was getting attacked there. Right, so it's just out here. Um, there is. Yeah, there's a. There is a cave here. It's also some some neckers. Oh, drowners? Oh, gosh. Come on, this kind of water combat is awful. Absolutely horrible. One down. Quite get them in one shot, unfortunately. Let's go up and take a breath. I'll dive back down again and have a look. Oh, some nice loot there. Let's swim into here. There it is, there, okay. Let's go through. I need to take a breath. Drowning, drowning, Geralt. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Um, I want to check out that sword that I picked up. This one here. Torhen. Quiet level 29. It's not as good as what, I've, uh, what I'm using at the moment. Anyway, let's dive down again. down here. Um, anything I'm looking for? No. Ah, oh, there it is. No, no, what have I done? Wrong button. Oh, lock. Oh, it's locked. I'm going to die down here. Oh, I can take a breath. Okay. Oof. Search for the entrance to the flooded laboratory. Oh, it's it's okay. This is not it. But oh, there is some treasure down here. Um, and I don't have the key to to get into the uh, the actual treasure. It's locked. Um, but there has been quite a bit of treasure in here anyway, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I might find uh, someone's uh, key or something along the way. Let's take a breath, let's get out of here. Uh, 
Uh, so this it looks like the area. I thought I went in here. Nearby. Let me have a better look around. Oh, here it is. There's an underwater portal. Okay. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Oh, let's find out. Two experience points. Elven armorer's tools. We planted spikes. Oh. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Half do I want to take? That's the question. Is there anything else around here? Head, head past the uh, the spikes. Looks like that's the path we need to take. Oops. Oh my goodness. Gosh. There's another. Oh, I'm gonna have to run this. It's not not easy. And one and two and three and it's like three seconds. Could try to jump. I better not try to jump. Oh. Okay. Half down there. Dead end. Some treasure there though. Oh gosh. Looks brutal. Okay. Demetrium. Uh, another sword. Melatith. Better than what I'm using, so it's just going to sell. Three, two, one, go. Okay, come down here. Gap, so it wouldn't have been able to get across if it went down the other way anyway, I don't think. Right, is there another portal here? Is this going to be a... Uh, some kind of fight? Yes. Oh, I knew it, I knew it. Get your sword out, Geralt. No, they're, immune. they're immune to art, I think. Oh, it's a regular sword. Okay. No, it is magical. Are they magical?
Okay, I was a little bit confused there, but um, yeah, they were actually magical uh, creatures. They had a red, like a red shield on them or something. down. I'm going to assume it's, it's this way. Dull meteorite axe. Blood soaked. Grave Rubber was wounded while attempting the climb. He needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the Panthers, at least. <gasps> Geld! Oh my goodness. Okay, so he climbed up here. Avoided the Panthers and maybe went this way? Just having a look down here before I get further down. See if there's any more treasure. Ah, uh, there is. Another sword. Crossbow. Looks like this boulder came rolling down. Uh, anyway, we can use it to climb up another one of these. Okay. I will try Igni. Hopefully, it's just one of them. Some kind of a spectre. Little side room here, anything? Is that an, an illusion? No? Oh, do I need to climb across the rope? Deeper into the ruins. Um, let's let's try to use the rope. <gasps> How do I? Is it possible to use the rope? There's a bow. Oh, there's a... Can I pick up this bow? Wait, there's a skeleton here as well, dangling off the edge. Gold casket, rope. Okay, unfortunately this isn't... Um Tomb Raider, I don't think I can <laughs> zip across. I don't know, can I? Can I zip across? Daryl, do you want to? No! <laughs> okay, so I need to get down there, but how do I how do I do that? 
Oh, I can examine. Hang on a minute. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Okay, so I can examine it, but can I use it? Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Okay. Alright, this is looking suspicious. Um, it's glowing red, but I can't interact with it. Um, come on, game. Give me a... Why is this glowing red if I can't... Oh, maybe I shoot it? Um, wait a minute. Let me, let me try and shoot it. Aha, okay. What did that do? Right, is there another one? Oh, okay, it's moving these across. Right. Is there another one? Alright, so there's one, two, I see you. Number three. Uh, there's one more. Uh, it looks like it's here. Hopefully that will do it. There we go. Ha, did it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I was assuming we needed to, to zip down there, but the solution was something different. Uh, let's actually grab the torch. Interesting as places uh -oh. go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. If these all come to life, I am in trouble. Oh my god. I want to guest. You are not welcome here. Yeah, forget as much. Luckily, it was just one of them and not all of them, although the rest of them might come to life at some stage. Find a way to go forwards. Great. Portals. This just keeps getting better. Um, okay. the entrance. Uh, I guess I'll start with the one on the left. I don't have any... Oh, there's more around the edges. Okay. Start with the one on the left. Now we're up here. Alright. Now to find the next portal. Let's go through here. Back where I started. Yeah. Oh, I loot something. Is there a clue? All right. If I go to the left again. Um. This time, go to the right. All right. Now to find the next portal. I think this one's right. Um, 
Let's go to the one across the other side. Alright, gotta find the next portal. Oh, can't get there this way. be a clue? Uh, I am looking for a clue. I don't see any clue. Oh, maybe there is a clue. No, it's just some, some gold. Okay, from the start, let's go to the right. See where this takes me. No. Nope. Damn it. Back where I started. From the start, let's head straight across. So maybe it is the left portal. Yeah. Damn okay. it. Back where I started. So there's there's one correct portal on the lower level, which is the left one. I thought I'd been through all the other portals though. Oh, back out the way I came. Let's go back straight in. Nope. Statues seem oddly oriented, as if to all face in one direction. The right portal, maybe? Oh, I see. Okay. Thanks for the clue, Geralt. All right. All right. Now to find the next portal. I didn't think to look at the... Yeah, how do I get over there, though? I know it's that one, but... I didn't think I could get across to it. Oh, can I climb up here? No? Oh, maybe I can climb up over there. I think I can. Let me just try this once more, heading around here. I think it's a dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end, dead end there, so I'm going to have to drop down and then climb up the other side. Okay. Where's he uh, facing? Facing that blocked up portal over there? Oh no, over there, okay. Let's do a bit of a jump. Uh, I think it's this one. Looks to be, uh, yeah, looks to be facing this way. Must be where Moreau had his lab. Okay, let's take a look around. Grab some loot. Guardsman's boots, die remover. Okay, lots of stuff. Oops. So called giant centipedes are my only comfort in exile. Credit green musician. Oh, he's been. Talking to someone. Crystals. Should mount them in the megascope. Missing two crystals. Okay, an introduction to research, which mutations. I do want to find out who he was speaking with, if I can find those crystals. Alright, let me just remember that there is a hole in the wall there. 
Ah, there's one of them. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? Grab this crystal. No? Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Hmm. Guessing this man didn't come here willingly. Oh, is that it? Okay. That's the second one. So let's see if we can get this megascope working. Just need to pick an entry. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Observation 58. 
Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Years of experiments. Research. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations. Further augmented his speed and strength rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. So, professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Okay. Acquire muta mutated gi giant centipede albumen. Looks like there is some here. Is it through the hole in the wall? Ah, it is. Okay. Does this mean I need to face the giant centipede? Um. Okay, well, we will get to that. I'm going to leave it here. I do hear some sounds over there. Let's go get out. Um, I do hear some sounds over there, but we'll get to that in the next episode. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you again soon for more Witcher 3.